The House of Representatives at her committee investigating the sale of Polaris Bank says the ongoing sale of the bank followed due process and got presidential approval. Chairman of the ad hoc committee, Honorable Henry Wanwuba, stated this during a press briefing to newsmen at the National Assembly, allaying investors' fears on the status of the financial institution. Honorable Wanwuba revealed that the ad hoc committee, during the vetting of various documents and extant regulatory process on the sale of the bank, there were evidences of substantial compliance in the process. I've looked at the documents, and that's the beauty of uh, investigations in Parliament. The beauty is that regardless of what comes on the floor, it is only when we start to look at the doc documents before us that we'll be able to start getting a clearer picture. So far, we have found evidence of substantial uh, compliance in this process. Um, we have seen that indeed about 35 companies were invited to bid uh, and then, of course, it went down to 15 and to 7 and ultimately a recommendation was made and a presidential approval given. Uh, we are happy so far, but like you know, it's an investigation and hopefully we will intend to conclude this investigation and lay the report before we commence sitting. Uh, but so far, everything looks really, really good. Uh, we don't have any cause for concern for now. Um, for the stability of the financial systems in Nigeria, uh, we call on the Nigerians to know that there's nothing wrong with Polaris Bank as a bank. What the House is looking at essentially is the process of uh, the acquisition or the sale. Meanwhile, on the ravaging flood in Mbatoli, Ikeduru, federal constituents of Imo State, Honorable Wamuba, has appealed to the federal government to come to the aid of the no fewer than 35,000 people who have so far been displaced from 35 communities. He also urged Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, to provide moratorium for farmers who obtained loan facility and were affected by the ravaging flood. Been affected uh, tremendously by displacements. Um, of course, our farmlands washed away um, and people generally being displaced. We naturally in the southeast are bedeviled with a lot of erosion issues, maybe because of our, the texture of our soil. But this year, um, it's been particularly bad. Uh, thank God it's budget season and it will be good to see us capture palliatives and uh, it things that will cushion the effect against next year's harvest because we know that food production in the country this year will be a challenge. Indeed, I have actually reached out to the intervention agencies, particularly NEMA. Uh, in my letter, I listed about 35 communities because we have uh, 64 autonomous communities that make up Mbitolu Kedru Federal Constituency. Uh, we have a total of about 35,000 people that are currently displaced. Homes have been washed out, uh, people's livelihood. I'm looking for both food uh, relief items and even non-food items at, at, at the moment just to rehabilitate uh, the effects. Uh, it's been very bad in MBK, uh, which is Mbitoli Ikeduru. And I hope that uh, this uh, will be taken as a matter of emergency uh, so that we can get the necessary uh, relief to our people as quickly as possible. However, while acknowledging that the challenges posed by this year's flood was unprecedented, he observed that this year the high volumes in terms of rainfall from the north down to the southern part of Nigeria is not different. Anit Patrick, Core, TV News, Abuja.